My name is Dane Ward. I play the character Bradford. It's funny because when this came up, I was in the whole stage play and I was shooting a whole nother film with a dude named Jeff McGill and he know Mac. So I guess Mac was looking for actors or whatever. So he like, yo, I know somebody that, you know what I mean, need a slot fill. Which between working and the play and the movie, I didn't feel like I had time, but I made it work and here we are, baby. And I definitely want to say I appreciate you for that one. Because I was on the hook. Like, I was looking for people left and right. Like, people would say, yeah. Then they'd be like, nope. Or they wouldn't even call call back and answer the phone. Then they see him on the street like, oh, my bad, Mac. Right. And all the, you know what I'm saying? Right. But when we talked, you know what I mean? Jeff put me on. And he told me about you. We talked about it. Showed you the script. You was with it. And I definitely appreciate you, man. No problem, baby. <clears throat> All right, so tell them, tell them about Bradford, your character. Bradford. Bradford is zero tolerance, and Mako, you, is like the thorn in his backside. And he's basically spending all this time on Mako's heels, but every time I get this close to him, this nigga slip away. One of our ghosts killed what we believe was his cover's wife and child. Listen, let me explain something to you, okay? I already know everything about you. Everything. I know you killed Derek Hall's family and neighbor. I know you want to expose G and D for what they did to you and your men down in South America last year. Okay? Look, I also even know who sold you out. Do I still have the wrong number? Or do I finally now have your full attention? I understand you. You don't have a choice. We all have a choice. Mako's problems with us. I think Mako was trying to use some bait to lure us out. But if we take the bait away from Mako, he'll have to resort to other things that'll cause more problems and complications for him. But season two, stay tuned. <laughs> right on, right on. Hey, look, so when you talk about Mako, me, you know what I'm saying? And how we going against each other. Mako got good reason to come see you. You know, his team got killed. Mm -hmm. And uh, believe that you had something to do with it. So, uh... That's true. Uh, oh, oh, it's true, huh? I don't know. I don't want to give him too much, baby. I think we give him too much. They <laughs> right got to wait to see what happens. Right on, right on. But it looked like Mako might get you before you get Mako. Ah. Think I might get you before you get me, baby. <laughs> vital, vital. Hey, hey, you're a formidable opponent, Jack. Formidable. Yeah. Let me jot that word down. <laughs> Go ahead, take that. Formidable. But yeah, so, so you said you did stage plays. Thirteen of them. Thirteen of them pieces. Thirteen of them pieces. Right on, right. I hey, tell people all the time. I did thirteen plays. I've done six short films. The only difference between theater and movies, when you're shooting a movie, take one, take two, take 50, take 100 till you get it right. But when you're on that stage, it ain't none of that. It's live action. It's a whole different ball game. Then, so do you believe you doing stage plays help you doing scripts? Because you gotta remember them. When you're on the stage, yeah. you gotta remember. It's no, it's no cut. Like I it's say cut, I say cut just, many times, yeah, word. but on on stage you can't say cut you can't say cut you gotta know your lines you gotta know where to go you gotta have your outfits in the back to go change and hurry up and come back and know where to go again know what to say know the other people's lines so it's definitely not for the weak and hearted so but you will fall in love with it if you give it a try okay okay so being an actor so you saying so this, so say this right here is for junior actors and people coming up in the acting field mm -hmm. So do you think they should do stage plays or get into stage plays before they do scripted film? I would say yeah because theater will groom you for the camera where you'll already be a step ahead of the game. But rule number one, know your lines. Everything else is easy. If you don't know your lines, it makes everything else harder. Right on, right on. So all you actors out there, take that. Work with it. Get greater.
All right, so uh, I got a question for you, Matt. Okay, go ahead. Shoot. Writing the script. What made you do that? Where did you get the idea from? I would me. Well, I'm only saying that because I'm trying to. I'm trying to do my writing thing. So, talk to me, baby. See, look, when it comes to writing, you definitely got to have a super imagination. You got to be able to think from both ends and what's going to happen next. Now, to answer your question, I'm going to answer it when I do my interview. All right. Versus so I get to interview you when you're interviewed. Hey, if you like. Say no more. Boom. My, my enemy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that strong. Yeah, it's cool. That's cool. I'm Stone Cold, you Vince McMahon, baby. Right on. Yeah, so before we go, man, just let them know again who you are, where to find you. Let them know what, what you got going on. Yeah, right now you can find me at work, but they're killing me, baby. But <laughs> outside of that, I don't really do the Instagram thing. I, I got to get one, though, for my for my actor's profile. But they ain't bored on Facebook, baby. Crooked Ladder Season 2. Stay tuned. Yeah, two seasons in, huh, Mako? <laughs> Tell, tell me this, how I feel to go from, you know, reading it on the paper to putting the ideas in your head on how you want to set the paper up to actually filming the paper and then sitting back, you know what I mean, on your TV, watching it all play out. Like, t tell me a little bit about that, Mako. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a process. You know what I'm saying? From getting it on paper from, from the beginning and then taking the natural steps to to put it get it to the TV now starting with the story you get the storyline you read try I, me myself I try to put myself in there and see it start visualizing where this is going to be where this person is going to go how how things is going to come together to make it like truly look like a film and not just look like something you just said we're just gonna shoot we're just gonna shoot we're just gonna shoot so I read I read I read everything after it was completed so then I had to get the cast that was the task you know what I'm saying I went through a couple of people I'm not gonna say people wasn't like there or anything but you know real life happened so I couldn't be upset at that. So I still appreciate them for saying yes and then filming if they film one day. So, you know, it's, so it's getting the visual, getting the cast together, getting the script together, getting people to remember the script, getting people that's going to remember the script. It, 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 was, it was a little bit, but it came together. I tell you that. It, it, was, it came together. And I'm proud. I'm proud. I mean, I appreciate everybody that was a part of it. You know what I mean? A few people were truly actors, like they've acted in certain in, in T on on TV. Um, some did Broadway plays, uh, and then other people were just coming on. Like they all, everybody started with, "I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm not an actor. I'm not an actress. I don't do this." But then, once you press the button. It's just the fun. The fun happened, and now they actors and actresses.